Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall learn a small concept which is easy and very important concept of light which is given in the syllabus of GPSTR exam 2022. So before moving to the video, if you are new to our channel, if you are watching my channel for the first time, please do subscribe and press the bell icon along with all icon. Hence, you will get the notifications of all the videos we upload here related to GPSTR exams of 2022 and also be useful for TET exams, central TET exams, mainly of maths and science concepts we take up here. So come let's move to the topic now, scattering of light. We see that um, sunlight enters the earth's atmosphere, it gets scatters, that means it spreads in all directions by dust particles and water particle water molecules present in the atmosphere this a uh, small uh, example i can give you that uh, if there is a hole in the roof of your house okay and if the light is entering through that you can observe a lot of dust particle dot dot dot, dot dust particles in the dark room especially you can ident you can uh, see that you can watch that so that scattering of light was first studied by a scientist called Rayleigh okay and the definition for scattering of light is scattering is the process of absorption and then re-emission of light energy. Remember this keywords absorption and then re-emission of light energy. And um, how this is scattering takes place, let us learn in detail. As the sunlight enters the atmosphere, as we learned just now, the air molecules are present in the atmosphere and if the air molecules size are smaller than the wavelength of the light which is incident on that then this small air molecules will observe the incident light the light which is falling on the air molecules are called as incident light so this small chota air molecules will observe the incident light and then it will re-emit the light without change in its wavelength Okay, so this absorption and then re-emission of light energy is known as scattering of light. And this scattering of light is not same for all wavelengths of the incident light. We know in Vibga, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, the wavelengths are not the same. It will be different for different uh, color of light. Okay because the incident light white light will contain all the seven colors so as we all know the white light from the sun contains seven colors that is violet indigo blue green yellow orange red in it and when we compare these seven colors in terms of wavelength and frequency remember red is having more wavelength lambda we represent the wavelength red is having more wavelength this points are very very important so please remember red color is having more wavelength whereas violet is having less wavelength but if you compare the frequency frequency of violet is more uh, where red frequency of red color is less least okay and if you compare this two if you compare green and yellow which is having more wavelength yellow is having more wavelength than green like this comparison actually so we have taken the last one and the first one the in this particular order okay so before moving to this how they get scattered let's see this point intensity of light the intensity of the scattered light is found to be inversely proportional to the fourth power of the wavelength you please remember this point once it is asked in the TET exam okay how the write the relation choose the correct relation between the intensity of the incident light and the wavelength of the light the intensity of the scattered light is inversely proportional to the fourth power of the wavelength okay remember this and coming back to this the violet light is having least wavelength as we read it is approximately the wavelength of this violet light is about 4000 angstrom angstrom is a unit to calculate the wavelength and about red light this red light will have 8000 angstrom approximately okay and um, this light when you compare with the red light violet light scatters nearly 
16 times of the red light so this violet light get scattered more in the atmosphere as a result the light from the sun when reaches us on the earth surface violet light will have less intensity and red light will have more intensity violet in the sense comparatively this violet indigo and blue this will have less intensity and the color like red and orange almost yellow they will have more intensity however if the air molecule size are bigger than the wavelength of light does it scatters the light let us check out so if the air molecules of size bigger than the incident wave length of the incident light then this air molecules will scatter the light of all wavelength of white light to the same extent okay so you cannot see any predominant color either red or violet scatters more you cannot observe that okay it will scatter the all the light into the same extent next on moving to the applications of scattering of light we we observe lot of uh, natural phenomenon every day and there is some physics concepts involved in it okay so there are innumerable um, beautiful things we find in nature okay so it comes under category physics so it um, we we keep observing but we don't remember the concept of physics which is involved in that okay let us check out with that one by one red color of sun at sunrise and sunset white color of the sky at noon blue color of the sky and black color of the sky in the absence of atmosphere why clouds are white in color and uh, use of red light for the danger signal we can observe this beautiful red color of the sun at sunrise and during the sunset so this is because of scattering of light we have learned let's discuss how it is at the time of sunrise as well as during the sunset the light from the sun has to travel the sunlight has to travel the long distance in the atmosphere to reach the observer so this diagram we can understand um, this long wavelength red lights they will not get scattered much and they will reach the observer when we are in the other side and observe and this small little wavelengths the like blue color violet color and all they have short wavelength they get easily scattered by the air molecules which are present in the atmosphere hence the strong wavelength light which is red which reaches the observer that will not lose its energy much and then it will reach the observer hence and moving to the next point white color of the sky at noon time we can observe like this white color only it's because sun is directly above us okay it is very uh, the short distance it has to travel to reach the earth so um, without much scattering of any particular color all the colors will reach us fast hence we'll see the white color of the sky during the noon time generally we see this beautiful blue color of the sky during day time other than the noon time so it is because as we know the sun light has to travel a long distance in the atmosphere to reach the observer who is on the earth so violet light or blue light having least wavelength lambda is least wavelength lambda is less and it gets scatters more it will scatter more okay that is the main point it scatters more hence we see this beautiful blue color of the sky in the direction other than the direction of the sun okay the other side you can see the direction of the sun here you can see directly if you see you may see the white color around but other than the direction of the sun is seen blue color now let's learn why clouds are white in color so as we have already learned that the water molecules size bigger than the wavelength of the visible light if they are bigger bigger droplets than the incident wavelength of the light it will scatter the light of all the color to the same extent okay so here this clouds contain lot of water molecules size bigger bigger and then they this bigger water molecules scatter all the light to the same extent so when the scattered light reaches our eyes the clouds are seen 
beautiful white in color you can observe here the comparison of the wavelength of the few lights given here red light more wavelength comparing with this blue light of less wavelength red is having more wavelength scatters less okay we can observe black color of the sky in the absence of atmosphere if you are on the earth and observe that there is no atmosphere for this earth if you are on the earth if there is no atmosphere no scattering of the light and no scattered light will reach our eyes thus the sky will look black but if you are on the moon and on the moon you know there is no atmosphere and there is no scattered light reaches the moon surface hence for the observer on the moon's surface no light reaches the eye of the observer directly except the direction of the sun hence the sky in the direction other than that of the sun if sun is in this direction other than this direction will look black for the observer on the moon's surface but for the same observer this person if he is on the moon the astronaut or on the moon or if he is above the earth's atmosphere if he is in the rocket if you see the look at the earth earth will look or earth will appear blue color to him this is because the scattered light the blue light reaches the observer on the moon okay so the stars and the heavenly bodies are seen as usual but without twinkling he can see when an observer is in a place where there is no atmosphere the twinkling of the star he he or she may not be able to observe in the absence of atmosphere in general we notice this red color used in the danger signal why it is so so as we discuss this many points by this time you would have got the point that red color being uh, having high wavelength it scatters the least in the atmosphere hence for the observer this red color is seen clearly without much get scattering and it penetrates through the longer distance without becoming weak hence red color is preferably used in the danger signal okay in comparison with the other colors and even in the tv remote also you can find the red color so we have learned few applications of scattering of light so if, if any question comes under relate to this color okay if it is a red color if it is a blue color a white color if it comes the red color the first key word key point you have to underline explaining the concept they may not ask to explain as such in lengthy way may might be asked for the multiple choice question only if it something you come across with red color why it is red in color why it is so if asked write the word as red light is having more wavelength and scatters less first point if anything is related to blue color asked why blue color scatters least a uh, why so blue color all this first point which has comes to your mind is blue color a violet color having the least wavelength which scatters most okay if something is related to the uh, clouds if it is asked why clouds are white you can say that all the colors are scattered in the same level same range okay so we have covered up the important points here there will be sure questions from this small small concepts but there will be easy questions from this part okay you can just once you listen or learn and you can answer any points related to this so thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up if you are new watching my channel for the first time if you are new to the channel please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that only you will get the notifications immediately whenever we post some videos okay thank you for watching